Hey, it's Kat here. I'm just crocheting a chain. I get a lot of people asking how to crochet the next row. So they're all right with the chain. They can do this bit, no problem. But when it comes to the next row, then what do they do if you need to turn after this? So I'm just gonna do a couple more chains and then I can show you. Seems like a simple thing, but if you don't know it, once you know it, then you can crochet anything. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the hook and it's called the second chain from the hook that we're going to go into. If you're doing a single crochet, which is the most basic stitch in the world. So that's what we're going to be doing into this row. And we've got our working loop, which is actually on the hook. We've got the first chain from the hook, which is this one here. And then the second chain is this one here. So you can see there's two like circles here. So this is the second chain from the hook. And all we're going to do is take our hook and put it through that second chain okay straight through there so you're gonna go underneath right like that and then you're gonna pick up your yarn so yarn over pull it through that same one that you've gone through just now all right so now you're gonna have you have two loops on your hook. I'm going to do that again for you. Okay, so it's, you're going to have your loop or your, your chain has like a piece of wool going through the middle of it. Okay, so don't worry about that. You're just going to go kind of above that one. So you're going to go into this hole here. So like I said, again, we're going to go in yarn over, which means we're going to grab some yarn with our hook and then we're going to put it up. So we have two loops on our hook and then all we're going to do is do that same thing again with the grabbing. We're not going to go through any more loops. So we're going to grab some yarn, so yarn over again. Once you have two loops on your hook, grab and pull through those two. So now what you have is you have your first stitch in row one. So this is your foundation chain here. You've just started row one of single crochets, okay? So now you are well on your way. All you've got to do is just carry on until the end. So you can do exactly the same thing. And if you can see, it's kind of like a necklace with chains. And you've just gone into this chain, you see? So you can see the chain, and it might be a little bit harder to see, but actually, this was your second chain from your hook, and you've crocheted into it. So you've done your first stitch in this row, and now you're gonna go on to the third chain from the hook. It doesn't matter about those terms, it's just I'm trying to let you know as simply as possible. So this next chain you should be able to see this is the next chain you're gonna go into. And see that little hole here? That's where you're gonna put your hook in next. So let's do it together. I'm gonna to get my hook, put it through. Yarn over. And pull that through. So I have two loops on my hook. Then I'm gonna grab yarn over again and pull through those two. So it's literally exactly the same thing all the way along. And you're well on your way to making your first row. And that is all it is. And it looks like not much now, but actually, once you start doing exactly that, exactly that same thing over again you'll get the hang of it it's like anything when you start it's hard and you don't want to do it and it's frustrating and i know but once you get into it you will get into a rhythm and then you're like wow i can do it and it, you, it's like you've overcome you've overcome it and you are you're all good and that is how crochet is to start with So once you've done all those, 
however many chains you had you're going to come back to your first chain here so that first one that you made you're going to go into that grab your yarn pull up as before and then pull through those two and now you've made your first row okay you've done your first row and now it's not as scary anymore because you can just do that again and I'm going to show you how to do the second row so when you come to the end of the row you need to then learn how to turn because you're going to go back on yourself so I'm going to yarn over and I come to the end of this and pull through which is just a chain at the end of the row and then you can turn your work which means you just take this and flip it over like a piece of paper so you're going to hold your hook still turn it over and then you have the back side of your work and then the way you work into this this chain your turning chain that is counted as a stitch so you're not going to worry about this first stitch here you can go straight on to this one okay so we're going to just go through but what you're going to do is go through now it looks slightly different and this is how it's going to look the whole rest of the time okay so you're going to have your stitch at the top your v here and then underneath you're going to have like a space and that's where you want to put your hook under that v so we're going to do it together don't worry about this one this is the one that you're blanking you're not even thinking about that one you want to go straight into this one because you've already made a space where you've already done your stitch there that chain stitch counts as one stitch so you don't need to worry about the first one go straight into this one go in yarn over and pull up you have two loops on your hook and then you're going to yarn over and pull through those two all right and you can do this all the way along and when you see your stitches here they're v's that's all i can do they're v's it's like what does that mean um that that v at the top that's your stitch so you're going to go underneath that so into that stitch pull up pull through two if you need help on holding your yarn and hook i will link a video here because there's another video where i show you how to do that and that is really the foundation you know when you're struggling to do something and it's frustrating once you get that, you're good. And then the second thing is you need to learn this and then you'll be well away. Okay, and it's just like that all the way along. If you have any questions, just pop them in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. It took me years to actually get all this. So if you don't get it at first, please come back to me. So this is the end. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through those two. And now you have a piece of material okay we're now going to do exactly what we did at the last end which is chain one and turn flip it over and remember this counts as one stitch so you don't need to worry about this you're going to go straight into there okay so yarn over and pull through yarn over pull through Yarn over and pull through. In. Yarn over. Fill up a loop. And pull through two. Go in. Yarn over. Pull up a loop. And pull through. Go in. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Don't forget about this little one on the ends because sometimes he looks a bit different to the others, but he's not, he's all good. So you're gonna go, that's the last one, okay? If it's kind of turning a little bit or misshapen, don't worry, just have faith and trust the process and you'll be good. I think that you got it. If you didn't get it, let me know. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would absolutely love that. And also I'm gonna link here the next video for you to watch, which is how to hold your yarn if you need help with that. So I'll see you there.